If you are thinking to get any one of them but confused about the battery timing, so this video is definitely for you. In this video, we are going to be testing out which phone lasts longer and also we will check out the battery backup of all these devices while doing some gaming and using some social media application testing. So this is going to be really really interesting video and this video will definitely help you decide which device you should buy or you can check whether the latest iOS 17.5 is worth of update or not. Before starting the video, brightness is set to 40% and using Wi-Fi network only and all of them are SIM free. All of them are 100% charged. Now let's see which would be the first one to die and which one lasts longer. I will show you the battery percentage in every hour. So sit back, enjoy the music and I will be right back. You are so heartless and you don't care and I
So guys, here we are at the end of the battery drain test. So the iPhone XS was the first one to die with 3 hours and 42 minutes because of the low battery health, which is less than 79%. If the battery health were around 85%, then I would say it will perform better as compared to 79%. So I will recommend the iPhone XS device to those who have moderate use only. The cameras should definitely avoid this. Similarly is the case with the iPhone 8 Plus, which came to an end with 3 hours and 50 minutes, which is bad and it is is not recommended for gaming as well still it is running the old ios apple discontinued this device updates for software some light application and social media usage can be for that particular device even having a hundred percent battery health it still goes bad the iPhone 12 did well which impressed me a little bit because with 88% battery health it gave up 5 hours and 24 minutes which is not good because I was really expecting it to be around 6 hour mark or 6 hour 30 minutes for the iPhone 12 but didn't perform as expected. And you still it will be a decent device if you don't have the budget then this device is best for you for gaming and entry level 5G. Now comes the iPhone XS Max with 86% battery health. Well, it did very well and this is the reason why I prefer the 86% battery health for every iPhone models. It really not disappointed me because with 86% battery health, it lasted more than 5 hours which is nice considering it's an old device and it performed really great. The iPhone 12 Pro got 7 hours and 9 minutes with a battery health of 78% which is not bad because if the battery health was around 85%, even lost it more than that maybe we can expect it to last around eight hours which would be nice so definitely buy that particular device if it is around 85 percent it's going to be a better device for gaming and social media application next in the line is the iphone 11 which has 77 percent battery health and it gave up in seven hours and 35 minutes which is going to be really really impressive but considering it's an lcd device i will not recommend you that particular device because it will not give you a better viewing experience well, the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 83% had died at 8 hours and 45 minutes which is a really good battery life for that particular device and it's going to be pretty impressive. The iPhone 11 Pro Max did very good job with 82% battery health which came to an end at 8 hours and 55 minutes which is quite good. This is because the battery health of this phone is more than 80% so definitely it's going to be a great device. And here come the three year old flagship, the iPhone 13 Pro, once again left me shocked because the 86% battery health. We have seen many times that the iPhone 13 Pro is still doing such a good job if the battery health is around 86%. It has lasted more than 9 hours which is really impressive. Next we have the iPhone 14 Pro Max which has 100% battery health which lasted at 10 hours and 60 minutes. Although it's a good number but still I think that this is not going to be good performance from iPhone 14 Pro Max when considering the iPhone 13 Pro Max which has performed even better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max because the battery health of 13 Pro Max is 89% which is really lower than the 100% battery health of the 14 Pro Max. Definitely is going to be one of the best device that lasted around 11 hours and 1 minute which is really really impressive considering having an 89% of a battery health. So definitely I recommend the iPhone 13 Pro Max for users because it will give you a better battery life as compared to the latest devices and you guys just keep in mind if you were buying any one of them for long term usage then make sure the battery health should be more than 85 percent so you should be able to use it for long hours without facing any battery issues just make sure to hit the like button because this kind of the videos take a lot of time so i think i deserve a single like and subscription i will be really appreciate this thanks for watching be sure to subscribe peace